Hey guys, you ever just want to know some new info? Well, I've got it for you in this video. Make sure to smash like, subscribe, leave a comment, or I'm gonna cry! Alright, thanks. Alrighty, guys, welcome to this very exciting video today. Woo! So, what's exciting about this is that uh, we're going to be talking about the kits of the new X-Men that are coming into the game, which I know we're all really excited about. I know a lot of people who love the X-Men. Um, I love them. I didn't even know them too well, and then I started reading all this stuff, and now I love them. They're my I'm pretty excited. They're going to be pretty lit. Um, so, what we're doing, uh, right above, you're going to see this is there's going to be footage of these teams playing right above. I figured it would be better. You guys would probably like it if you could see the kits right here. I always point the wrong direction, but uh, you can see the kits right here. And um, I'm going to have footage above so you can see that and also read the kits. I felt like that was better than just me reading the kits and having the gameplay in the background because then you don't really see the gameplay or understand the kits. So this is what we got. So I hope you're happy with it and uh, it's going to be great gonna be great we can all just read the same thing here so you can see the description at the top i'm not gonna read that but essentially is like talking about how she works great against debuff heavy teams because she could flip the effects right so this is for psylocke obviously i don't know if you gathered that i didn't say it but you should be able to read and gather that so she has really cool animations as you can hopefully see above i really like her animation she looks cool she got like the these like sword things on her hands they're like not swords they're like energy swords super cool um i really like the way her animations look uh really cool uh not all of them are unique but just they look cool that's just my opinion so anyways basically she has huge piercing damage you can see that on her basic uh 270 piercing damage that's sweet that's awesome uh, next ability is attack primary target for 200 piercing damage, so more piercing damage, and then chain to adjacent enemies for an additional 200 piercing damage. Clear two positive effects from each target that it chains to. And as always, keep in mind, counterattacks break the chains, so that's kind of how it works. But pretty cool, pretty exciting uh, just to see a lot of piercing damage. We got a lot of like really heavy armored characters uh, in the meta right now such as uh well i guess not a lot but just uh pretty important ones like juggernaut um and i think that shield security has pretty high armor so that said this will be good this will like shred through those guys because um, the way that my understanding of piercing damage works is that it does not take into account the armor uh, that could be completely wrong don't quote me on that that's just those first two attacks it says above like a little tips that's saying that it could be good to pair her up with wolverine because of his piercing damage we'll get we'll talk a little more about wolverine later but uh not too sure if they're doing too much with him haven't gotten much information on if he's changing or what's up with that um, because I know I think a lot of us thought that he was getting a rework on the ultimate ability astral butterflies Transfer two negative effects from each ally to primary target. Transfer all negative effects from self and X-Men allies to primary target. So basically, if you run a full X-Men team, this is going to take all negative effects from the entire team and put them on whoever you pick. Now, uh, I did get clarification from Foxnex that this doesn't mean that, like, if you have two characters that are stunned, this is not going to transfer two turns worth of stun onto somebody. The only thing that it's going to stack with is bleed. And so, like, this was what Fox next said. We'll see how it works. That would be pretty wild. Um, as far as if you're fighting a Spider-Verse team, if you can transfer, like, I don't know, like, say each character had two stacks of bleed, you could transfer ten stacks. That would kill almost anybody immediately. So I don't know... If that's the case, I don't know how it's factored in. I don't know what the percentages are. I don't know if it's based on Psylocke, if it's based on the character who originally inflicted the debuff. We don't know all that yet. I'm sure we can find it out, but we don't know all that yet. Anyways, though, nothing is going to stack except for bleed. So that's crazy. And then you're also going to attack for 300% piercing damage and you can't miss. Uh, it's pretty sick. I like the animations on that attack. It just looks cool the way that they have it set up. And then her passive is a reinvigorate. Uh, on spawn, gain evade counter. When an X-Men ally drops below 50% health, apply evade counter. And then uh, gain 1000% resistance against disrupted. That's just for her. So she can't be disrupted. 
seems pretty good uh kind of a little weird that you would just single out one debuff but also it's better you know but thousand percent resistance against any debuffs you know it's kind of how jessica jones is it'd be a little crazy if we had too many characters like that so that's kind of the first look at psylocke like i said we've got the footage above that just kind of shows how she looks how she's attacking and uh yeah so it's pretty cool this is her kit i think she's gonna be awesome and i think she's gonna be a part of a great team coming up so like i said before if you want to recruit her She's going to be an event campaign that's coming very soon. So the next one we have is Colossus. We're still going to have footage playing above on that. And uh, if you want to read this like quick little hashed out description of him on what he does, kind of just like his like overview, you can. But we're going to scroll down to see the whole kit. Basically, he's the tank, obviously. And you can also see he's going to be coming in Blitz. So that's important to know. We don't know the date on it yet. They haven't given us the date or anything like that, but just upcoming Blitz. So... We don't know about that. But his basic attack, Ring Dinger. I don't really understand what that word means or why it's named that. If that's a reference, let me know because I thought it was kind of peculiar, but maybe they're just trying to be funny. So attack primary target for 340% damage and apply offense down for two turns. Not bad. I like offense down on a basic. It can come in a lot of handy. And then uh, the special, Altruism. I think that's how you say that. I don't know. Has a pretty cool animation if you keep, you know, keep watching. You'll see it if you haven't yet. Uh, gain taunt, gain two counter, apply two deflect to self and X-Men allies, which is, that's pretty crazy. So he's going to use his taunt and then give everybody deflect. It's kind of like it makes it that if he uses that ability, it's not wasted if his taunt gets removed immediately because they're still also going to have deflect. And that's to all allies. He only get one to all allies, but two to himself and X-Men. And so if Phoenix is an ally, the taunt goes to two turns. So it says gain taunt with the ability. And then it says if Phoenix is ally, gain taunt for two turns. So uh, I'm not totally sure if that's going to mean three turns total if Phoenix is on the team or not. We'll have to test that out when time comes around. But so far, gain taunt and then it says two turns. So then ultimate. Uh, I like this. This is unique. We haven't seen this sort of ability before, but I think this is really cool. So increased duration of positive effects on self by three more up to a maximum of five. So I assume that if you already have taunt for two turns and you use this, it will go up to five. But if for somehow you had taunt for four turns and you used it, it's not going to go to seven. It'll just go to five. So same with all the rest of the stuff. So gain two death proof, which is awesome. And then gain two plus charge up to a maximum of five. And we'll see what charge does as we go down further. So on spawn, if he's charged, generate one ability energy for self and then clear the charge. I don't really know how he's going to start with charged, but if he does, he'll gain an energy. Again, we'll see how this plays out as it goes. We haven't played with these characters yet. So it's kind of one of those things where it's like, I'd love to know, but we don't really know. So basically if phoenix is an ally he gets tons of bonuses so he's going to gain defense up for two turns and then defense up goes to all x-men allies that's amazing to start on spawn defense up so that's incredible really incredible so we see where the charge stuff comes in here is that when a negative effect is applied to an x-men gain one plus charge uh, up to five so when you're charged and somebody attacks you, you counter attack them for 100% plus 10% of the charge. So that's actually probably going to be a really weak attack, but it's a guaranteed counter, so it's nice. But 100% uh, damage is typically not very good. Um, I mean, his basic attack is going to be 340% damage, so imagine less than a third of his basic hit. But an attack is an attack, you know? So whenever an X-Men ally drops below 50% health, gain taunt or one up to taunt. So you might already have taunt. I don't know if that means he's going to taunt when they fall below 50% or if that means that it's going to just extend his taunt. But what if he doesn't have taunt? Again, this is something we're going to have to see in testing. But either way, that seems very good. So that's a maximum of two. I don't know how that interacts with his uh, ultimate ability. We're going to have to check on that and see it. So wall in defense up. Gain 1,000% resistance, uh, he gains 15% max health, and then X-Men allies gain 15% max health. That's super nice uh, with him. Uh, extra health is always better. Next character we're going to look at is Phoenix Kit, and hers is super interesting, guys. Super cool. Yeah, really thrilled with the kit. Uh, so it's really important here. The first thing to see is that the way that Phoenix is going to be unlocked, she's legendary. You're going to need villain mystic controllers for this character to be unlocked. I don't fully understand the significance of those characters. Um, 
But at first I was like, oh, it just must be the least unlocked faction in the game. Just being really negative and just kind of grumpy about it. And then I realized that I have all the characters at six star. So I imagine that a lot of people will be very close to unlocking her, which is pretty cool. So those characters, there's only five of them. It is Loki, Ronin, Nobu, Hand Assassin, and, uh, oh, right, duh. Sorry, I had to look that up because I couldn't remember. It's Mordo. Mordo's the other one. So Mordo, Loki... Ronin, Nobu, Hand Assassin. That's who you're going to need. And uh, I don't know. I have most of them at six or seven star already. And I never spent any money on them. It's just characters that I've kind of just gotten along with as time's gone on. So I'm thinking that most players who've been playing for a while should be able to unlock her. But I guess we'll see. Maybe the event's going to be really hard. But just uh, keep that in mind. Uh, That's coming up. And so you're going to be able to do that. You're going to just be ready be ready so this is i guess a big reveal i don't know nobody else knows how she's gonna be unlocked but a lot of people are saying it's a faction that's not in the game yet that is not the case so here it is right here this is how phoenix is unlocked know that keep in mind you're also gonna want her because she kicks but with phoenix very unique kit nothing like this is in the game and it's super cool so you're gonna have two different forms of phoenix so regular phoenix and dark phoenix which makes perfect sense with the lore and this is really cool so uh, her phoenix regular phoenix uh, she's an interesting character like she's good she does damage she heals um but it's almost like her role is to die and then you bring out Dark Phoenix, and she's just also just blowing people away. So we'll look at both kits, and uh, yeah, it's super cool. Really cool mechanic. I'm really thrilled about it. Psychic Blast. Attack primary target for 250% damage and clear two positive effects. Awesome. We always need clearers. We need people who can clear buffs. That's amazing. Great. Her special is Bestow Light. Apply stealth to all allies for two turns. Apply defense up to all allies. Redistribute 25% of max health from self to allies all allies receive an additional 10 percent or 10,000 health on top of that this bypasses heal block so that's great no heal blocks gonna bother that transfer all negative effects from allies to self if there are no allies attack self for 5,000 percent self piercing damage if phoenix dies her passive ability is triggered so as you can see already like at first i didn't really understand this but the point is to bring out dark phoenix and then you just blow everybody up. We'll see that in a second. So Phoenix Force, which again has an amazing animation. I'm sure you guys, if you haven't seen it, rewind and just pay attention to that. It's super cool. Uh, attack primary target for 400% damage, plus clear all positive effects, and gain 50,000 extra focus for this attack. So you're gonna clear all positive effects, no matter what, across the board. That's awesome, that's amazing, especially like, I immediately think of like Luke Cage, that dude gets so many positive effects and you can clear a few but it's annoying when you clear the wrong one so that just boom wiped away done so then obviously we saw as her unique goes she has it's kind of like two different parts of it so when she dies she summons dark phoenix and then phoenix is gone you just have dark phoenix so on ally taunt gain taunt that's kind of again to like mitigate like damage going to her and like mitigate it from her allies but it brings it to her because you want her to die gain 30 percent damage x-men allies also gain 30 percent damage gain 30 percent max health x-men allies gain 30 percent max health so if you remember from colossus we're already gaining 15 percent max health for all x-men and so that's going to be an extra 45 percent health from whatever their basic stats are that's incredible really really incredible so that's phoenix she looks really really good and then let's go to dark phoenix essentially not that much different but her basic is a lot better it's like a quake or shuri type where the basic hits adjacent targets uh, the damage is 250 percent don't really know uh if that's going to be good or not most likely not most basic attacks don't do a ton of damage um, but clear two positive effects from each target so if you have you know if you've got people you're able to hit all three you're going to clear two positive effects from every target that's amazing you're going to completely control their positive effects this is just going to be unstoppable then you're going to steal 20 percent health from all enemies and to redistribute to self apply regeneration to all allies and apply an additional regenerate to x-men allies so the way that this was described to me is that this is going to be like Minerva's redistributing of the health. So this will bypass health block and everything. But so all of the health is just going to come back to Dark Phoenix. So that, I mean, 20% health from all enemies. I mean, if that that's gonna essentially be giving her, you know, it, it, of course 20% times five, adds up to 100%, but it's not going to be adding up to 100% of her health, it's just 20% of each enemy. So I guess if you 
you know, you got a Luke Cage, but then you also have a Daredevil, like their 20% so nowhere near the same. So you're going to drain it, whatever. She's probably going to heal almost all the way from that every time. So then her ultimate is Phoenix Unleashed. Attack all enemies for 400% damage, clear all positive effects from each target. So that's exactly the same as uh, regular Phoenix. It's just unavoidable this time. It wasn't avoidable on the last one, at least so it says. So it's unavoidable. So her ultimate, I totally misunderstood this before just now, but now I'm rereading it and it's like she attacks all enemies for 400% damage. That's crazy. So regular Phoenix attacks one target for 400% damage. That is nuts. So you're also going to clear all positive effects on each target. Gain 50,000 extra focus for attack. So what this is going to do is attack every single person with a 400% damage AOE and remove every single positive effect. That is amazing. And it can't be avoided. That's almost unstoppable, right? So that's crazy. And uh, I don't know. I'm super excited about this. I'm happy I'm going to get her. If I wasn't going to get her, I'd be watching this video and just be like, ah! I'd be crying, I'd be rolling around on the floor, but alas, friends, don't cry. Unlock her, that's what you need to do. Uh, on spawn, so whenever Dark Phoenix like kind of comes to life after Phoenix goes down, uh, you're gonna attack all enemies for 250% damage and apply defense down for two turns. Just cause why not? She's not OP enough as it is, so. I don't know, guys, that seems pretty nuts. Uh, these kits are crazy, and I'm really excited to put these characters into action. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this style of video with the footage above and the kits on the side and me floating right here. I think it's great, guys. This is really cool, and uh, yeah, we're going to see them in action pretty soon. Pretty soon, I don't have any firm dates on anything yet, but as soon as I do, we'll let you know. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Make sure to smash the subscribe button and uh, leave a comment if you have anything you want to say, and I will respond to you. I always respond to all the comments. Join my Discord if you want to join a really cool and fun community that is there in the description below. If you've ever thought about supporting the channel, that is also down below in a Patreon link that uh, means the world to me, and I'm really grateful for you guys who do support me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, yeah, that's it. We're out of here.